What's up everybody, Coach Cody Hunter here and I'm back with another video for you. And today team, I'm talking to those of you who are snoozer losers. You know, the people who are pushing the snooze button two, three, four, maybe even 10 times every single morning. Perhaps you've even set up multiple alarms. You've gone further than just the snooze, you've actually prepared to wake up multiple times in the morning before you actually pull yourself out of bed. Now in my eyes, this is madness. And the reason why I understand is because I was once a snoozer loser myself. I used to push snooze so often that I wouldn't wake up at all. I would skip all my lectures at university. I would really push it to the last minute to get to work. I just really enjoyed that snooze. And you know what? It felt like shit. Speaking from experience, it just felt like shit. Rushing around in the morning. You've got to pick out your clothes now. You're trying to squeeze in a cup of coffee. You're trying to get beautiful before you get to work. By the time you get there, you're already a little bit late. You've already stood someone up. Someone's upset at you. You're upset at yourself. And it's just the worst way to start your day. I went through changes and I got on top of it and I changed that behavior. I worked out strategies and techniques and ways so that I wouldn't fall victim to the snooze. So I wouldn't wake up and feel like shit. So I wouldn't get to work late. So I wouldn't stand people up. This all really started when I started coaching early morning classes at one of my first studios. There's no way I can show up late because people are relying on you to be there. There's no way you can show up not awake and not ready and vibrant and ready to party because that's your job. As a coach, as someone who's delivering a service, it's your job to be awake. It's your job to wake others up and help them up. So I couldn't be that person who's really late, lethargic and tired. So I had to build strategies around it so that I could wake up at 4 or 4.30 in the morning so I get to the gym by 5.30 and be ready to rock and roll. So I thought today would be a great opportunity for me to teach you some of these strategies and break you out of the funk and help you start your day in a better way. The first one here relates to your actual phone or your actual alarm. I would say go hard. Don't use snooze at all. Disengage the snooze function on your alarm. So that first alarm goes off. Just know if I don't wake up now, I'm doomed. So boom, alarm goes off, push the button, wham, you're out of bed straight away. All right team, so number two here is all about proximity. As you know, if something is close to you, you're more likely to use it. Make it harder to push the snooze button. Make it a bit more difficult to turn your alarm off. Now a way to do that is to put your cell phone away from the bedside table. Put it across the room. Put it somewhere that you actually have to step, get out of bed and switch it off. Now I know many of you will hate that. Of course you'll hate it. It's like tearing you out of your beautiful, comfortable, warm bed to turn the alarm off. But hey, guess what? It's not about being comfortable at this time of the morning. It's about getting your ass out of bed and crushing the day. So put that phone on the other side of the room. Another thing I like to do in order to have a really productive, non-reactive, really empowering morning is to set everything up the night before. So you've heard me say this before. It's one of my really strong philosophies about the morning is be a robot. Now acting as a robot in the morning is something that I've done for many, many years. I had to train myself to do it, but it works really, really well. What that means is there's no thought or emotion in my mind. It's purely tasks that need to get done. I've programmed my mind to do A, B, C, D, E. Just get them done like a robot would. And then number one is turn off the alarm without a snooze, stand up, and go through the morning routine. So the thing is, to make your morning routine easier so you can be more of a robot, is to set things up the night before. This means your clothing. Don't go into your wardrobe and sit there and hum and har about what to wear today. Because again, your brain is playing tricks on you. It won't support you. It's going to do its best to sabotage you. So you're gonna sit there and hum and har. ah, uh, should I wear that? Ah, uh, should I wear this? Should I wear that? And your brain's all freaking doesn't know what to do. It's probably telling you to go back to bed. So in order to counteract that, Get your clothing out, place it down, iron it if you have to, get it all prepared and beautiful so it's sitting there the night before. So in the morning after you finish your shower or whatever you're doing in your morning routine, it's ready to rumble. You put it on without even thinking about it. How beautiful is that? It's like having your own personal stylist that set things up for you so all you have to do is stand up and go. Live in the world of the models, people. You know, another thing to prepare is also your meals. If you plan to have breakfast, set it up the night before. If you're having coffee, plan to set it up the night before. Make all these choices and all these tasks so easy to win on that there's no way that you're going to fail. You just go through step by step by step by step by step. What I highly recommend is waking up with a lot more time up your sleeve than what you normally would. I always allow a minimum of an hour before I have to actually leave the house. That hour doesn't include travel time. That hour is purely time that I have from standing up to going out the door. I have a full hour to get everything done. Now in that time, I like to do my morning routine stuff, which is journaling, reading, audiobooks, uh, you know, some meditation. 
if I'm going to eat or stretch, all those sort of things, there's plenty of time in there so I can do that. You know, it just allows you to start your day in, under your terms. It allows you to warm up your brain, warm up your body, get things flowing that so by the time you do get to what needs your attention, you're on fire. You're not catching up for lost time. Don't be that guy that takes them to 1 p.m. in the afternoon to actually start being productive. Yay, that's awesome. High achiever. No, you're gonna start being productive as soon as you hit the ground running, as soon as you hit the floor at your work or your place of employment. All right, team, so there you have it. They are my tips. Now, there are many more that can come out of this as we flow forward, but I think these are just some real simple ones for you to execute right now. Give these a blast. Try them out. Have a go of it. Why not? You know, why don't you start with just one of them if you're not quite ready to go all of them and just start off by setting your alarm clock early so you do have that full hour window in your house. Give that a blast. Another thing team here is of course, a lot of what I'm talking about may require you to wake up a lot earlier than you expected. Now a thing is here, if you do have late nights, if you do feel like you're not sleeping enough or you just can't get to sleep at night, try waking up early every day for a long period of time. You know, going to bed early is actually not the best thing to do, especially if you haven't been doing it. Because by the time you go to bed at 10 and you sit there, you're just not tired. You're normally going to bed way later, so you can't get yourself to sleep. So I recommend just focusing on that early morning wake up. Set your alarm clock for 4, 30, 5 o'clock and do it every single day. Trust me, by Friday, you'll have no issues going to sleep. In fact, you'll probably fall asleep on the floor or the sofa like I do most nights old man right here. All right, so focus on that early morning wake up rather than getting to bed early, and then it will just all work from there. All right, team, there you have it. That's your video for today. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please post it in the comment section below, and we'll see you all again in the next video. Good luck with that early morning routine, and good luck becoming a robot. Trust me, it'll change your life. All right, team, my name is Cody Hunter, and I'm out. Peace.